Louisiana's nursing homes are asking for millions more in state Medicaid funding. Some advocates for the elderly say that funding should instead go toward services that allow people to stay at home instead of going into nursing homes. Yet the bump in funding is all about a done deal. Katie Moore brings us this update to our investigative series, Standard of Care. Louisiana's nursing homes have asked the state to increase how much they can get paid by Medicaid. This rule seeks to incentivize other facilities to convert to private rooms to get these same benefits. And this is likely the end of the road for opponents of it. It's a joint committee on Medicaid oversight at the state capitol. Nursing homes are paid through a complicated formula that factors in a number of things, including how many square feet each facility has per licensed bed. Changes in that formula could mean estimated five to six million dollars more a year for Louisiana's hundreds of nursing homes. A small amount when you consider they take in a billion in state and federal tax dollars a year. But it goes to the bigger question that some advocates for the elderly have been pushing, whether tax money is better spent on nursing homes or services that allow people to age at home. See, nursing homes are well funded. Um, nursing home reimbursements rates have risen 54 percent between 2006 and 2016, and that's not even including the additional uh, revenue they've received from COVID-19. Uh, and there, the occupancy rate has virtually re remained flat. The politically powerful Louisiana Nursing Home Association pushed for the increased funding during an earlier hearing in October, arguing it will provide an incentive for nursing homes to add more desirable private rooms. Plus, the association says private rooms make it easier to isolate and protect COVID patients. But the AARP and three other advocacy groups say many of those patients are safer cared for at home instead of in the nursing homes. Katie Moore, Eyewitness News. And the agency that oversees Medicare still has to sign off on the change. That could happen at the beginning of next year.